Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick uh, example of an algebraic expression like you might be asked to simplify on the GED that this is one that students make a very common error on. So I want to make you aware of that. So first of all, let me just read this. It says two times the quantity of X minus seven. I say times the quantity because this two is multiplying by everything in this parentheses. So two times the quantity of X minus seven minus three times the quantity of x plus five. So I've got a few things going on here and I am simplifying. I'm basically um, obeying the uh, operands, the symbols that I see. So, you know, if there's a time sign, I'm timesing. If there's a subtract sign, I'm subtracting, so on and so forth, okay? When simplifying, we are supposed to follow the order of operations. We're supposed to handle any groupings first, then any exponents, then any multiplication and its inverse division, and then finally any addition and its inverse subtraction. So I can go straight to the groupings here. Uh, but what I want you to see is I can't do the math in these groupings. So sure, there's some math to do in that parentheses, x minus 7, but I have a problem. x and 7 are not like terms. And I can't take x or 7 away from x because I don't know what x is. It's a total mystery. So I can't do that grouping. And then similarly on this side over here, x plus 5. x and a plain old 5 are not like terms. Those two can't add either. They're, you know, we can't do that addition that's inside the groupings. And so you might think, well, what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to give up and cry? No, we'll just move on with our order of operations, okay? So anything I should do next would be exponents. I don't see any of those little floating numbers or the radicals, and so there are no exponents. So now it's time to do my multiplication and division. Okay, so what I do see here is some multiplication. I see this two shoved up against these parentheses. It's multiplying with everything in there. And I see this negative three shoved up against these parentheses. Notice when I think of that as multiplication, I think of that as a negative three. Uh, when I'm talking about it as addition or subtraction, I read it as minus 3. But when I'm looking at it during the multiplication process, I consider it as a negative 3. Okay? So here we go. Remember that multiplication can pass out over all the terms in a grouping. And so that's what makes this legal. That's how we skipped the grouping step. So uh, here we go. 2 times x is 2x and 2 times negative 7, or another way to think of this is if I subtract 7 2 times, I'll have ended up subtracting a total of 14. So 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. And do remember, you can do that in your calculator if you're bad at um, negatives. You can just in your calculator put 2 times negative 7. Okay, and now be really, really careful when you deal with this multiplication here, you are not multiplying by 3, we're multiplying by negative 3, by negative 3. So negative 3 times x is of course negative 3x, and that's not the part students get wrong, but here's what they get wrong. When they pass that out, they usually just do 3 times 5 and tell me positive 15, and that's not right. We are doing negative 3 times positive 5, so it will be negative 15. And that is the error you need to watch. So when passing this out with multiplication, take the minus sign with it like a negative and you'll avoid the super common student error. Okay, so I did my multiplication and division. Now it's time to move on to addition and subtraction. But remember, we can only add and subtract the same kinds of things. In this case, we can only add and subtract like terms. So this is an X term and this is also an X term. Notice again how I grab that sign that negative at the beginning. Uh, but now, since I'm doing the add subtract step, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that as minus. So this is like 2x minus 3x. Now, if you're bad with negatives, again, you can type that into your calculator, the 2 minus 3 part, not the x part, and it'll tell you it's negative 1. So if I have 2x's and I take away 3x's, I'll have negative 1x. Now, I'm going to write that down, negative 1x. Now, this is absolutely and totally correct, but this is not how a mathematician would write it. Mathematicians never bother to write a coefficient of 1, so what you're going to see it on the GED is it wouldn't even have this one here. It would just say negative x. Okay, So we have a negative 1x or just negative x, and then I already am minus 14, and there I am with another minus 15, so negative 14 minus 15. 
Again, if you're bad at negatives, you can type that into your calculator, negative 14 minus 15, but I am in a lot of debt. I'm at negative 29 or minus 29. And so this is your final answer. Let me erase this and get a little closer. But this is my final answer, negative x minus 29. There's no more simplifying I can do here. This thing is as simple as it's going to get, and it's done. Great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.